Today on Risk Beards and Gear, I review the ID4 interface from Audient. Audient makes a wide range of interfaces and they even make actual legit huge consoles. And the cool thing about the ID4 is it's their smallest interface, but it also packs some of the features of its bigger brethren. For example, the XLR input, the preamp built into this is the same one from their big console. So you were getting a huge leap forward in sonic quality right in the package. The design of the quarter inch input is also of a JFET design. That means uh, it's it's basically simulating the input of a guitar amplifier. So all of your guitars, you know, you can plug in keyboards and even a drum machine into this and it will handle it just fine with plenty of headroom. Other features that I really like about the ID4 is its bus power. That's my favorite feature and the one thing I always look for. I know there are fancier interfaces, I know there are larger interfaces, but I don't want to carry around an extra power cable, wall wart, or something like that. I want bus power if I'm going to go compact and portable, and this does the job quite nicely. Um, also 48 volts at the input, so you can plug in your condenser mic, your ribbon mic, something like that. Uh, another very cool and unique feature is the monitor mix. Now, uh, when you're track if you're tracking vocals, for an example, um, and you can't get your mix just right, you can hold down the volume and then pan the mix to the left and your immediate uh, vocal monitoring to your right headphone, which uh, gives you a nice balance of what you're hearing versus trying to he hear yourself. Also of note, there is a dual output for the headphones that are always active. So you have a quarter inch and you have an eighth inch. So if you're uh, doing something collaborative with a friend, if you're wanting to record a podcast and you wanted to monitor yourselves, um, at the same time, this has got you covered because it has two outputs. That is super, super awesome. Now the coolest feature of the ID4 and most of audience uh, interfaces is the ability for it to be a control surface. Now, for example, uh, in your DAW, if you just simply mouse over what you wanna control, you have some automation on, you can use the scroll wheel to then write the automation for any parameter in the DAW, whether it be a volume control, pan control, uh, some kind of a control on, a, a, on an effect or something like that. That is a huge added bonus that normally you would have to buy another Surface for. Now, for example, the cheapest one I can think of is about $150. So, I mean, that is a uh, huge, huge savings right out of the box. The feel of the ID4 is heavy and sturdy. This is an all metal construction and uh, this is not plasticky and it is not cheap feeling, I guess for lack of a better term. Um, it doesn't feel inexpensive. This feels like someone really cared when they made it. I like the design, it's clean, it's intuitive, and those are all the things that I look for in a portable compact interface. Now down below in the description, you will find some guitar tracks, some DIs that I recorded using the Audient ID4, and I think you will find them very pristine and very clean. That's how I would describe the input. Um, it doesn't add a lot of color to your signal. It is very, very transparent. Um, I found the mic preamp to be uh, transparent as well. It doesn't add a ton of color. It's not like, you know, a vintage British console or something like that, but it is a very clean and it's a very robust sounding preamp. All applicable links down below in the description. You have been wonderful. I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.